Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Magic Bun Bun and I'm happy to have you here. Welcome on in, welcome back, or welcome if this is your very first time being here. This is something new. I've never, I don't think I've done a video like this at all. Um, this will be hopefully something that will always happen on Fridays, posting a video about weekend self-care and self-love. Um, I do this on a Friday because some people do not have the ability to do this on a Sunday um, or to prepare for a Sunday. Um, any forms or acts of self-care or self-love. So I thought let's post this on a Friday and when you have the time to get to it, you will get to it. So in this video, we're going to be discussing a message from your spirit guides. Um, what is challenging or draining your energy? What do you need to release to bring in peace and more self-love? You know, and we can always end with affirmations and um, fun stuff like that. So oracles will be will be coming in later um, at the towards the end of this video after the tarot, I should say. Hope my voice is sounding a little bit better than before. If you guys don't know if you're here, um, I think right now everyone here probably already knows that I do stream on Twitch. So that was fun. And I'm also going live on Instagram uh, before, like an hour before stream starts to do my makeup with community members. <laughs> Excuse me. My voice is still not 100%. I kind of like lose it in and out, but it's doing a lot better. Okay. So let's get into it. Let's find out what your divine spiritual team needs you to know. And also remember, this is a community energy reading, so not everything's going to resonate. Um, take what does, leave everything behind that doesn't. And you're going to have to trust your instinct. You're going to have to know what was meant for you and what wasn't. As always, all the information uh, needed and required for socials and to join the Discord community will be down below. And if you would like to book a private reading with me so we can customize this reading to your taste, um, all that information will be down below. And I think that's it. So let's get started. What does your weekend self-care look like? Queen of Swords, setting boundaries, possibly dealing with some diffi difficult energy, difficult people. This is also, uh, the Queen of Swords is associated with Libra, Libra energy. Of course, any of the other air signs are applicable here, Aquarius and Gemini, um, but I particularly um, associate the Queen of Swords to Libra energy. Trying to be fair, feeling like things are sliding one way over another, the balance of the scales, um, are not in your favor, that you're letting one side of your life take over. And this is also could be implication for some of us who are doing things um, with an icy heart. You're not doing it from a place of love. You're not doing it. You're just doing it to get it done no matter who it hurts, even if it's hurting yourself. The lovers, this is your challenge. This is definitely for this weekend, is to definitely um, take some time for yourself. Take some time to connect with others that make you feel special. With the lovers card in reverse, it's about tough love. And this could be self-care is not always bubble baths and chocolate cake or sweets. Like, I know we love that. But self-care could be setting boundaries from toxic people, setting it right, setting your truths, and taking care of business that way. It is, love is not always beautiful it is not always easy come on focus it is not always fo it is not always focus <laughs> it is not always easy but sometimes that's what tough love is because you're trying to do better for a better version of yourself and some people want to bring that down so you get two cards for this one the hierophant and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Um, giving too much of yourself, feeling like you're spending too much money, you're not investing it correctly. Um, and the Hierophant is seeking guidance, seeking a mentor. This is also related to Taurus energy, which I should also mention the Lover's card is related to Gemini energy, double that air energy coming in to hear air um, thoughts up in the air are to ground it since they're in reverse, trying to make it a reality, but you just can't see it right. And this could be causing you stress because you can't ground that energy with that six of pentacles being present. And the Hierophant is about seeking traditional paths versus trying to do something on your own, trying to do something where 
it becomes more stressful because you have to do more research on it stick to something that traditionally has worked for you that you know will work for you before you expand on that knowledge and this could also be like tough love with yourself that you understand the path you must take but you actually must take the steps to do so and Taurus is about you know like yes they're typically known as being comfort food luxury but the Taurus energy can also relate like to empress energy in there where she lounges back she lets the beauty surround her and making your environment something for some of you this environment might be more a studious one whether that's actually dealing with your studies, making it more comfortable, making sure you're well fed, making sure you have uh, enough hydration, um, seeking guidance from a mentor that can help you set that balance right or from a teacher if you're struggling with something, this could be a sign for that. Um, and so keep that in mind when you're thinking about the studies, thinking about this weekend. And then we have the world card. So things that are coming full circle for you. And also with the world card, which is related to Saturn energy, um, typically, and you can kind of see it here in the archways, it would be drawn with a circle around the figure in the middle. And that's bearing your truth as well as setting those boundaries. So definitely this weekend is about setting boundaries. And this boundary can be with yourself. If you're giving too much of yourself away, people are trying to grab too much of your energy or your money or your time. And you're like, enough's enough. Like I need time for myself to get my affairs in order to take care of the things that I love ace of swords using your voice this is a challenge for you you're keeping your voice locked in there <coughs> oh excuse me my voice wanted to attack you're keeping your voice locked behind a wall and not letting others hear it and eventually it's going to end up hurting more of yourself because think of this imagery as the sword is now pointing at you the only person it's truly hurting is yourself and it's a challenge for you to see that you don't want to acknowledge that two of pentacles a decision to be made and a balance that is being asked of you between your work and your um between your work life and just you having pl pleasure and fun your home life the comforts of home doing things in moderation you're trying to take it all on and eventually the balance will become undone and that's not what we're looking at here that's not what we want we have the knight of pentacles in reverse so you've been working on a project you've been working on something very diligently but it's become very mundane and very bored and probably when you're bored like this this is why you don't want to speak about it anymore because you can be feeling like well no one else wants to hear about this this is about people you surround yourself with um, the Knight of Pentacles is also related to some Virgo energy. So we have some uh, Earth energy definitely coming into here because the world with Saturn is related to Capricorn in, in there as well. So we're trying to, we also kind of see this with the Pentacles kind of like on the edge of the spread so far are trying to ground this energy of this air of this mental thoughts to help you release it, to help you let go of these thoughts that are constantly buzzing through your mind and you haven't done any action on them but know that it's going to be mundane but there's magic in the mundane as well <laughs> more pentacles you've got the king of pentacles and this could also be leading to mentorship but this is also about being authentic to yourself this king is um highly respected this keen um wants to take care of their community but the community could be taking too much you know where it's more of like who is your mentor where do you fall into this who do you have to turn on to who do you have to support you in this when you're trying to make these hard decisions you have to use your voice you have to speak up and again we still have that imagery of the grounding energy of this night of this keen in this night the pentacles are not here to mess around money is on the mind and a lot of stressors that you know really relates to a lot of the self-care relates to finances you know it's your relationship with money it's knowing that you deserve abundance speak your desires when you're like i want this I, this is what i love this is what i want i want my job to reflect this i want it to reflect my values you need to write this stuff down you need to be aware of this you need to do journaling of this 
the moon things that are slowly becoming very clear to you no longer are you going to be afraid of the darkness you're going to embrace that wild side of you <laughs> then we have the knight of swords we have two knights so this is the knight at the bottom of the deck let me Okay, sorry, I had to put that to the side. Also, the moon relates a bit of Pisces energy. So we have um, a little bit of water kind of coming in here. And then uh, the Knight of Swords doubles that Gemini energy. So communication, so, so strong. Communication with those close to you because it could be chosen family. It could be actually to siblings. Um, and in this position here with this card kind of pushing from beneath from all these other angles it's because you have had inaction there's been a lot of planning but what we have to do is we have to start seeing things easy to tackle things of course when you're thinking about things um day-to-day -day activities but sometimes day-to-day -day activities get very boring and you don't see the climb that you're making so the keen is asking you to look at the bigger picture here. What is it that you're trying to accomplish? What cycle are you trying to finish before you start anew? These are the questions to ask yourself this weekend to have a deep dive into your subconscious and get rid of your fears and understand that your fears are bigger than what you're making them to actually be like you can tackle them piece by piece but you have to understand where it is that you're heading to and where do you need the help where do you need to set boundaries and again setting boundaries with yourself is very very important to not let one part of your life take over the other okay let me do my thing of moving everyone to the side really quick so we can introduce some definitely much needed much required oracle cards okay so what do you need to release to bring in more peace and maybe spend some more time for your self-love Surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or to solve a problem. So having that space for creativity. Like I said, we were kind of seeing a little bit piece by piece like the connection when I was thinking of the empress it's letting those chaotic thoughts come in there. And what can you create out of the chaos? Surrender to silence. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. And by the time this video goes up on Friday, the following Monday right there is going to be the full moon in Cancer. So maybe for some of you, this is your moment to surrender to silence. And I say that because we have the moon card that is present. And in the world card we here, we can see the stars in the sky. Surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To be more effectively, to more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. And this definitely relates to a lot of the boundaries we were just discussing. In the sense of like, um, sometimes it's better to walk away. You can't control how people act. You can only control your own actions. And I know we were talking about magic earlier, magic in the mundane. Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. Relates to that magic feeling and being authentic to yourself, authentic to your own voice. Mm, let's see. Let's add this oracle. And then I know where we're going after this. We're going to do some self-care after these ones. That one wanted out. Rainbow Road. You are on the right path. And we have authenticity on here and higher self. 
a relationship with your higher self for some of you that's what you're going to want to work on um, again could definitely be something of a ritual of some nature for some of you for the night of the full moon portal a new door is opening we got that moon sign right there we got the moon the moon it's beautiful beginnings opportunities and adventure so this is also a path of creativity this is something you can figure out when you're surrendering to silence And I want to do for this one, the last one. McCollany Hill. I just probably said that totally wrong. So sorry. Honor your feelings, emotional release, deep emotion, and sadness. This is just screaming the full moon in Cancer because that's full moon in Cancers. I know people like to stereotype um, Cancers as crybabies. <laughs> um, I'm a Cancer moon, so there you go. So I know how it goes. Um, but this is a time to honor your feelings, to embrace that and understand where your limitations are. Make that time and space for yourself and let it go. Release it. Cry if you need to. Ego trap. Check yourself. Ego judgmental thinking. And it's like, okay, so definitely when you're thinking about the keen in reverse, that can be an ego trap. Like you feel like you have it all together. You don't need to ask anyone. And that's not true. That is definitely not true. When we see that ego trap, you need to release the ego because you're also can be talk talking to yourself like you can handle it all. You can do all of the work. You don't need to ask for help. When people ask you to do things, you can handle it. And it's like, you don't have to take on the responsibilities of others. Let others do their part in it. Delegate. That's a big one here, too. you got so many knights in, your, um, in this reading right here that we have so many knights that it's like they're trying to take on the tasks themselves because that's what they're meant to do. And the king is challenging you to delegate those tasks. And the queen of swords being in reverse is now no longer open to receiving at this point. She's, you know, people have taken too much from her. Okay, so some self-care. Connect with your ancestors. This could be a time for you to definitely connect with your ancestors, with your past, learning about your family tree, spending time with family. Rest, totally definitely good to do. Get some extra sleep where you can find it. A dream journal after resting write down your dreams write down your dreams maybe there's a message being sent to you not all those just this one and sound healing perfect and for sound healing, I know you can go on to like YouTube here and just even type in sound healing. And there's people who do crystal bowls. They'll do it for different themes like anxiety, um, clearing your space. This could be totally good for you, especially if you're cleaning your space and you want something more calming to uh, listen to. Find some sound healing you can play in the background. Maybe something while you're resting. That could be a good one too. Okay, before we jump into affirmations, I want to pull at least one card for the stress, relief, and self-care. Just one. Or two. Okay. <laughs> Do you hear that? Tuning into the sound of life. Make sure see if you can see it here. Find somewhere that is quiet. Take a nice deep breath. As you breathe, notice the sounds of your heart beating. Tune into that sound. Try slowing your heart rate down with each deep breath. Listen to the sound of your breathing. Take everything in. Relax your mind and body. And that is a little bit more of steps, which is why I love this Oracle deck or this self-care deck so much. Because we had Surrender to the Silence. This is literally like kind of telling you how to do that. The Hamster Wheel of Life. Objective, taking a monetary break from the chaos of life. Right, right away, right to the rest card. 
Take a break right now to stop what you're doing and close your eyes. Step off of the hamster wheel for a moment. Give yourself some mental space. Take a deep breath in and let the breath calm you. Continue breathing deeply for one or two minutes and notice how this makes you feel. Beautiful. So it's definitely something that you can work on. Even in those moments of rest, like I know this person is sleeping, which is great for the for the journal, but some of us may not have that opportunity or time, but try to dedicate some of it, even a minute or two, five minutes if you can is not a lot of time um, to take away from the rest of your day. Like just those five minutes can mean so much and change so much for you if you give it the chance and the opportunity to do so. Okay, do I want to do this or do I want information? Picking it up as I go here. I don't pre-plan a lot of these videos when it comes to the cards versus my standard ones. We're going to add one, at least one color. The color for the day, for the weekend. At least one. I'm being called to show a color. Red, free yourself from pain. Red is the color of this weekend. You can wear it, you can eat it. If it's on the color of food, surround yourself with it. Get flowers in the shade of red. Wear jewelry, put on makeup in red. That is the color for this weekend. And here's the affirmation. Thank you guys for making it through this video. I really do appreciate it. If you did like this video, if you like the way anything about it or have any useful criticisms, please drop me a comment below. Let me know if any part of it resonated with you. I love to read your feedback. And please make sure to like and subscribe if this was something that you know, you're into and you want to see more of this type of content. Okay, so this is your affirmation for either for just the self-care process for this weekend, however which way you want to use it. The universe totally supports every thought I choose to think and to believe. The universe totally supports every thought I choose to think and to believe. Wonderful. Love it. Okay, that is it for your weekend guidance. Eventually, I might turn these into pick a piles, um, but until my voice is 100%, this is what we're going to work with. Thank you guys again, and I will catch you guys in the next video, and that is it. Bye-bye.